I know that people have been texting me about this trip to um, the Unity campus in August, and I know Reverend Beckwith will be there, and I know yes. you'll be there speaking, and I know the music yes. is going to be off the charts. And is there yes. anything else that you want to share with people? About you know, you're asking the wrong person because I can go on for like 20 minutes about this event. <laughs> okay, so let me just tell you some of the highlights. Um, you know Bukeka, she's one of the singers because she sang here at Speakeasy. Yes. Esther Nicholson is a world famous singer who's, you know, used to sing with Rod. Stewart? Yes. Um, you know, you got, uh, John Stringer, who I just interviewed on Mystic Magic this week, who is amazing spirit and songwriter. Mm -hmm. There's a youth component. He's teaching the youth a song that they're going to sing on Sunday. Uh, Lee Langston, who sings with all of, you know, the major people across the globe. Uh, we got a great band. We've Reverend James Trapp opening Thursday night. We've got... Wow, women of Kansas City singing. We've got an African dance troupe and drummers the first night. Um, that's our reception. And then that entertainment, I start off Friday. I'm the first speaker, followed by Reverend Derek Wells, who took over uh, Christ Universal Temple, which was founded by uh, Johnny Coleman, who was like the mother of New Thought um, and definitely the mother of New Thought in Chicago. Bishop Flunder who was amazing. Her ministry is worldwide. You know, who do they have speak at the Washington Cathedral on the, on the 4th of July, but Bishop Flunder. So I want to tell you the caliber of the speakers, you know, um, uh, uh, Reverend Michael that night, Reverend Jack Bomar the next morning, who is, uh, he took over the pulpit from Barbara King. Yeah. Barbara King was like one of Johnny's first prodigies, you mm -hmm. know, out of Atlanta. Um, that's followed by, uh, Reverend Michelle Senegal, who's been running her diversity, equity, and inclusion company for 40 years. She's doing a whole exercise where the audience gets to participate and, you know, there'll be a mics passed around for people to share. Um, we've got great food. I've done food testing for most of the meals, except the soul food was unacceptable. So they had to go and find me another soul food restaurant that was going to do it because this is called celebrating our soul. We cannot have bad soul food. They were talking about puree and all of that. I'm like, no, man, no, yams. But anyway, um, <laughs> so and then we've got um, Reverend Sylvia Sumter out of Unity of Washington, who is kicking up dirt in our nation's capital you know, basically laying down the truth and, you know, major Congress people have come through her church and got enlightened. Yeah, we got a DJ bumping Saturday night. You know, we're going to be having a ball. Sunday, we're closing with Reverend Sheila McKeithen, who's the president of Universal Foundation for Better Living. Mm -hmm. Again, the organization that John Lee Coma started. We've got vendors. If you want to sell stuff, we, we will sell you a table where you can sell your wares. We've got energy workers. There's people doing Reiki. There's people doing pranic healing. There's people doing um, different modalities, some that you've heard of, some that you haven't, emotional freedom technique, uh, tapping. Um, there's a machine that they're bringing in so that you can get an analysis of what's going on with your body. You know, um, we've got a trip to Kansas City that's for a limited amount of people to go into Kansas City to see a lot of the Black history that's there, the Black Baseball Museum, the Black Jazz Museum, a whole bunch of stuff we have packed into this weekend. And you cannot not have a good time. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And also, there's only 90 so tickets left. If you just can't go because the dates don't work, a shift is going to happen in Kansas City. Just be aware of that. It will the country. Out. Yeah, the country. It's going to ripple out from Kansas to the country to the ethers of everything. And just be aware of that because whether you're physically there or not, you're holding space for it. And I'm just again just so blessed to see what it looks like to be fully in your ministry. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You get to be God today because you created the sun but he was also part of it and um, he gets to celebrate too. And nobody can get in the way of either of your joys.